want to get more orders for your e-commerce store, I'm gonna show you how in this video by creating something called a login funnel. You might be wondering what that is. I'm gonna show you right now. Here's your website. Someone that's already purchased a product from your website is gonna come here and they're gonna click on my account. They'll scroll here and then log in. Here's my login and then I'm going to click the login button and this is where the magic happens. Watch now. Instead of taking me to the my account dashboard, instead I'm taking them to a login funnel. This is so easy to add to your website with a tiny snippet of code and I'm going to show you how to do it. And the best part is this is a way for you to give an existing customer a special offer. But you know what? If they're not interested in it, that's okay. They can click right here and say, no thanks, take me to my account page. And then they end up right here on their account page. And that my friends is a login funnel. It is so easy to add and there's so many practical applications for this. I don't see any reason why every single WooCommerce e-commerce shop shouldn't try this out at least a login funnel. There's nothing that you're going to have to buy. It's literally just adding a tiny snippet of code to your website. So let me show you how it all works and how you can start using login funnels today. So you're going to need to add two plugins to your website. The first one is actually kind of optional. It's called code snippets. You'll go to plugins, click on add new over here on the right. You'll search for code snippets. You'll see it right here and you will install and activate it. I already have it installed and activated. Now this is just for adding this snippet of code. You do not need to use code snippets. If you're a someone that's more involved and understands how code works in WordPress, you can easily add this to your themes function file or your child themes function file. It's just easier in these videos to do it via the code snippets plugin. Next, we need to add another free plugin called cart flows. And what this allows you to do is have multiple WooCommerce checkout pages. And so that's what we're going to use to create this funnel. You don't want to use your default checkout page because you can't customize everything that's around it and you can't make multiple versions of it. So go to plugins, add new and do a search here for cart flows. It's right here, funnel builder for cart flows, just install and activate it. Next, if you are going to use the code snippet plugin, it's going to add this menu item right here. Let's go ahead and click on that. And what we need to do is add a code snippet. This is a tiny little bit of code that you're adding to your website. It's very simple. So I've already gone ahead and created one, but you'll need to click on add new. You'll give it a name. It could be any name. And then you're going to copy and paste this little snippet of code. I'll have a link in the video description box that will take you to my website where you can easily copy and paste it and get access to that code snippet and where I can maintain that code snippet. So you're going to paste it in here and then you'll click on save changes. That's all you're going to do. But I've already gone ahead and done it and it's right here and I've chosen to name this login funnels and it's a really simple snippet of code. So uh, there's a tiny spot here that you're going to have to customize though and this is when you're telling where your website where you want the person to go when they log in. And so we need to go ahead and create that login funnel right now. So we'll go ahead and edit this snippet of code in just a moment. Next, go to cart flows. If you've installed and activated, you'll have it right here and click on flows. Next, click on add new. And here is a variety of pre-done funnels that are created using your page builder. If this is your first time installing and activating cart flows, uh, there's going to be an onboarding process that has you select your page builder and if you don't have WooCommerce, it can install WooCommerce for you. I'll put a link to a full tutorial on this plugin in the video description as well. So these are all pre-done, all pre-designed, and it's really simple. All you have to do is choose the one that you want. And here is, let's see, I'm going to go with this one right here. I'll click on import and it's going to import everything. And here we have it. It's all created. I'm going to go ahead and give this a name. I've also named it login funnel. I'm going to click on update and this is going to save it. So it's a three step funnel, but we only need two steps. We want the checkout page, which is going to be a one page checkout. So we don't want a landing page that goes to a checkout page that goes to a thank you. We just want this checkout page and this thank you page. So I'm going to go here and I'm going to click on delete. 
and then I'm gonna click on OK. So now we just have these two steps in our funnel. I'll go ahead and click on Update to save my progress. So now I'm gonna go right here to the checkout page. I'll click on Edit. And now the first and most important part is we want to customize the URL someone would enter in to get to this custom checkout page. So here is the page title here and it's by default saying checkout page. So I'm gonna change this. So I've named it Special Offer, but I wanna click on it out of it and then click on it again because I want this to appear, the permalink settings. Now alternatively, you can access this over here on the right and you can expand it here. So what we wanna do is probably customize the permalink and this is what we're gonna copy and paste into that tiny snippet of code. This is pretty much the link. So I've gone ahead and named this page Login Special Offer. So I'll click on Update and now I've gone ahead and changed the URL and that's actually what I'm going Going to use this URL. It added it too because I've already used that elsewhere. And this is what I'm going to copy and paste in a moment. So Cardflows is super easy to use. It creates these dedicated checkout pages anywhere on your website. So I'm going to scroll down and here are the options that we can have for the checkout page. Basically, you choose a product and you can change some of the styling and customization of the checkout and how it's gonna look. So for me, I'll choose a product by clicking here and entering it in. Alternatively, you can click on create a product and it's gonna have this little pop-up here where you can create a product on the fly. So I'll go ahead and create a brand new product. You'll get a kick out of this. I've named it Hair Growth for Men because I'm a baldy. You scroll down and I put the price in of $49.99. I'll go ahead and click on publish. So now we've created a new, a new product. I can click this little X here to make this pop-up go away. And now when I search for a product, I'll enter that one in. There it is, hair growth for men. Nice joke at my expense. And then I'll go ahead and click on update. So now that I've done that, I am going to click right here where it says, the title and this is going to show me the link to this page so I'm going to go ahead and click on it and let's just take a look at it so we have a checkout here and it has my hair growth for men right there this is great now everything above and below this checkout form right here is done using your page builder in this case I'm using Elementor so I can click on edit with Elementor and totally customize everything that you see here colors text. It's just using your page builder. I have a ton of tutorials on using Elementor, but if you're using Divi or even just native Gutenberg, you can customize it however you want to customize it. Now I've already gone ahead and created this login special offer page. And you can see up here in the top right, this is that little snippet of code or the URL, I'm sorry, that we need to copy and put inside of that snippet of code. So you you see how it has the website address and then it has a slash and then the what's called the slug this is the full URL well we just need we can get rid of the part that has the URL we just need the remaining part so I'm going to copy that into my clipboard including the slash in the beginning of it and this is the design that I whipped up now I'm using some of the features of cart flows pro in this which allows me to have this more visually attractive product selection option box here. So let's go ahead and take that and add it inside that snippet of code. So I'm back in my website. I'm gonna click back into code snippets right here. There it is, login funnels. I'm gonna click right here. And so this is the spot right here that I need to change. So I can get rid of it and then I can paste in what I just saved. So you're going to want to have it look just like this. Just drop the HTTPS, drop your website address, put the slash in and then have the rest of the link information right there. That's all that you need to do. Then scroll down and click on save changes and you have created a login funnel. Now in the future, when you wanna try different offers, you'll create a new funnel using cart flows and you'll just come in here and you'll just change this little bit right here to whatever the new offer is going to be. Now let's just test that one more time. I'm back logged out and I'm in an incognito window because I wanted to show you something that you just might have missed. So I'm gonna enter my login details again. Okay, I'll click on login. It's gonna kick me into my login funnel, but check this out. As I scroll down, all of my billing details because I'm a returning customer will automatically be filled out 
out. So literally all I have to do is scroll down here and enter in my payment card information. And most people have that saved in their web browser anyway. So it's super simple, convenient, and easy for this returning customer to just click a mouse and take you up on this extra offer. So that my friends is a login funnel. Now this little tiny snippet of code, I'll have a link in the video description box. It'll take you to my website and you can just copy and paste it and do whatever you want with it. I think over time I will probably try to enhance the code snippet to give some additional options that you may want. I really think you should put some thought into this and figure out how you can implement login funnels on your website to give a better offer to people that are returning. These are your most loyal customers. Those are the ones you want to reward the most and it's just adding a tiny snippet of code to your website and that's all you have to do. You don't have to buy anything to test this out and try this out on your e-commerce store. Hey, I need you to help me out right now and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed this and found some value out of it. And I don't know how you couldn't have, although my channel has its own haters and I'm sure there's gonna be plenty of thumbs downs, uh, but I'm asking you to click that thumbs up right now. If you have a question or any additional ideas about this concept, please ask in the comment section down below. Subscribe if you haven't already subscribed, click on the notification bell because I drop little value videos like this all the time that don't cost you a thing. It just adds another tool to your tool chest. So subscribe and click on the notification bell. Other than that, that's it for this video. I'll see you in the next one.